Maybe it was about tonight. Now that I think about it, yeah, it could have been. In my silence, there is much my mind is spinning around, mostly due to the fact that I don't know the whole of it. And feeling so creative in so many different ways, you remember the things we said to each other at Crown Point. I remember that feeling, so vibrant, so new, so frightening, as if I could instantly be pulled into your life and all of this time. Of living, of trying to make myself feel normal, the reasons barely even exist anymore. Well, they still do, but highly unlikely at this point. Here I am, had such an active week. I feel burnt. I know I have more to plan. I look back at what my instructors used to say. I think back and wonder now who my instructors for the real world would be. As everyone is experienced in some form or another, but unless they go through the motions of becoming an instructor, they aren't considered one. I feel extremely fortunate in the now, as I still have certain people in my life guiding me in this role. Some are quiet, some are brazen, some question my abilities, and some question my intent. It's all right, though. If I were to paint a picture of what my life has taught me, it's at times bittersweet, swirled in vivid sparks of brilliance. The darker, duller times, sometimes coated in a soft pink glitter coating. The brighter times, sometimes cloaked in a transparent barrier. All the while, at the center of it all, sometimes lays, stands, or rears up at the presumed layers. I was in a deep forest. The cross-reference may be one of myth. It may be one of common storytelling. One simply cannot know. But the feel of disbelief and absolute truth was when I had to second guess, even when I saw it with the eyes of my inner realism. My subconscious told me it was as real as anything I had ever seen before, and within it was the loudest of heartbeats I have felt inside a dream, and the warmest embrace possible, as I ask myself so many questions, but mostly... I enjoy what is sent in silent messages. Something I'd love to experience in waking life. As real as when I looked into the covers to find the bike I was dreaming about in my bed when I was three. Yes, it was that real. I haven't peeled myself from my winter yet, but when I do, it's amazing. And when I sit alone and dreaming, it's also amazing. I had a fit of rage this evening, as hot as any burning ember on soft skin. It burned so strong the computer switched off. It was probably best, as I wouldn't have regretted it. But I didn't think sending it into the world was as fitting as I would have liked. Yes, I do get angry. I think I gave her something she never had before. Hope. My words echo in her mind, makes her think it's the most unusual thing ever. I could not imagine something like this. The one world seem away sees me as being somewhat of an inspiration. Strange, but I await the time when she makes it known. I can keep it all in. If you only knew how many secrets and promises will cease to walk the world at my last breath. If you only knew how many things I've seen, either through accident or otherwise. I am cast sometimes as the one people confide in, sometimes, many times walking encyclopedia of words that only see the light of day when they are spoken to me. I suppose I feel quiet sometimes because I do not understand how to walk into a room without feeling the need to be silent or protected, as if my world is balancing on the words of others. Most of my banter is soft-spoken and jovial, and this is what I want life to offer in return. So I participate. Knowing sometimes I know too much, I suppose this is me just releasing an element of love back into the world, as I have received much in his life. He is calling for my attention, and so writing in a state of drowsiness must cease, at least for now. And someone is calling me. Is the phone about to ring? Is it you? Are you about to tell me to pack a sweater and some water shoes? Stranger things have happened. Thank you.